Hello. I believe this is working. Can someone check that for me so I don't make a mistake I've made many times before? Thank you. Uh, welcome to Venture Ventures, D&D &D 5e actual play. We're going to actually play D&D &D 5e e in a second. Uh, but first, let me recap what happened last week. Trying to track down older Raven Guard, the person in charge of Baldur's Gate, who was in charge of Baldur's Gate before uh, visiting El Terrell and getting sucked down along with the city down into Avernus, uh, the first layer of hell. And uh, yeah, so right now we're in El Terrell and made it to the cemetery of the cathedral in El Terrell. And now we're talking to a former priest of Lathander, who's very intense and uh, wants to make sure that this group is not in league with demons. That's where we left off. Am I forgetting anything other than the standard telemarketing stuff that's happening to Jerry? No, I think that about sums it up. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so um, Gideon poses the question, so are you in league with demons, or are you going to kill them and get rid of them if I allow you to go down there? Kill them and get rid of them. Cool. Like a boss. Cool. Uh, make a persuasion check, Jerry. Uh, it's gonna be a low. Uh, I don't have my character sheet up yet, but it's. A, I rolled a three. I think I get. I don't think I get any bonus. So not good enough. Three. Yeah, I don't think that's good enough. Uh, he goes. Well, if I have reports from any of my agents down there. That you're killing devils or not smiting demons. You're muted, Gare. Oh, on Zoom. Uh, insight. Ah, oh, son of a. I was going to do an insight check to see if you actually had agents, but I rolled a two for a five. <laughs> he could. He, it just seems reasonable. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, uh, hold on, hold on. Uh, We've only spoken about killing demons, which is what you wanted us to do. Can we also not kill devils? Is it a two-sided deal here? I mean, Why would you kill devils? Of... We're trying to prevent the chaos of the blood war from spilling over into the material plane and the rest of the planes and destroying the universe as we know it. Devils kill demons. Right. All of that. Um, here's the problem. Since we got here, what was that yesterday, guys? Yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. Since we got here yesterday, everything has tried to kill us, so we're just kind of hitting back. We haven't really paid much attention. Well, I, personally, I haven't paid much attention to what I'm hitting. How, how do you tell the difference? That's what I was about to get to, yeah. If they're coming out of the portal, then they're demons. Okay, I haven't seen a portal yet. Guys, We came anybody? out of the portal. Oh yeah. I, was, uh, other than that, no, we I didn't. Was. We were teleported here. Well, portal might be that portal. thing up in the sky. The companion. The companion. Is that a portal? Jinx. You were told by um, Faria, I believe that's her name, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. that Raven went down to the cemetery and down into the crypts to investigate a portal where all the demons were coming from um oh, gotcha. also as you're having this conversation two insectoid medium-sized insectoid creatures walk in with try to uh, sell me a reverse orphanage <laughs> uh <laughs> no, well, you'll find out and um gideon says hold off let them pass. Let the insects pass? They're, he's talking to the insects uh, about you guys. <laughs> I know. <laughs> what? You know? Okay. <laughs> um, 
So are, I'm like holding my my maze up, and I'm like, wait, so these these are devils or are these bugs? Because these look like bugs. They they work for me. You have bugs that work for you? I'm still really confused, but sure. I mean, coming out of the portal. Do those crabs work for you? And in Infernal, they say, shut your mouth, filthy human, to you, Jerry. I can't understand Infernal. I speak Infernal back, and I tell them that's rude. Shut your mouth, filthy kitten. See, Gideon, this is why... And I'm speaking in front of us. This is why we've been hitting everything since we got down here. Every, everyone's an asshole. So what do we do if a devil attacks us? You, I, you just kind of stop them? A devil won't attack you here. I d- can't guarantee anywhere outside of the cemetery. But if it does. Oh, I mean, if, if can, you tell some to... of those, can you tell some of those crabs to come be our, our guard, guards? Or our henchmen. That is why they are rude to your friend, by the way. Because they don't like crabs? They're not crabs. They're fiends. Um, is there like a secret password that we could say to the devils? Well, they'll know we're like on Gideon's good side. Right now, there's n- th- these two were guarding the entrance to the crypt. So right now, there's nothing going. So if you're not going to go down there, I'm going to send them uh, to guard it as they were. No, uh, we're going down. Okay, so you best be on your way then. Oh, uh, real right. quick, you you said so you were a former priest, right? You still I have know. any? Lathander, well, does, does he give you any 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 of that juice? Because the, the is spirits. Sorry, Zeriel, you're right. Uh, former priest of Lathander. Zeriel, did she let you keep any of those gifts? Because those, uh, there are some, some shades and shadows, specters, something or other. And I just I feel real weak. Yeah, same as these. Can you do anything about that? I cannot, but it usually fades with time. Oh, okay. Cool, yeah, no, Crypt is, uh, oh, I don't want to go down there right now. Let's right. go. Yeah. Oh, I forgot you guys all have like negative three straight. That <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get it at all, and I don't care about straight. Well, that's how it goes. Uh, head yeah, on we, down. We, like you said, best be on our way. <clears throat> cool. Like staunching wounds as I go down. <laughs> Dude, that hurt. I'm bleeding. I'm fine. I'm fine. Cool. So you enter the uh, main chapel, and the first room you enter is the Chapel of Light. The once beautiful main area of the chapel is littered with broken furnishings and splintered chairs. The stained glass windows have been smashed. One remains mostly intact where it's fallen whole to the floor. It depicts a representation of the god Torm placing a golden helm on the head of a man kneeling before him. Out of the shadows step four minotaur skeletons, clutching bloody great axes. Fuck, are they demons or devils? <laughs> they start running at you, so... Uh, Kill it! <laughs> roll initiative. <laughs> <laughs> what was that magic word you asked for that we didn't get? Right. Holy shit. I am hitting these things first. You want to bet? Certainly before me. No, you're you're most definitely probably. These guys. These look like the same minotaurs that we saw outside. Oh yeah. <laughs> they didn't oh, yeah. seem too scary. I make myself small. Yeah, they didn't charge you, so. I bet they didn't seem too scary. <laughs> didn't seem too scary. I f- killed one in one hit. Or one attack round. You also didn't get charged in Gord, if I recall correctly. <laughs> Maybe she would get charged. He was Gord. thinking about charging me, and then I changed my mind. <laughs> 20 up. 24. Nat 20. 20 to 15. 19. What's your dex? 
15. The fuck did I put my d20 just now? In the dice box. 15 to 10. 13. Where are you at, Kairos? Nine. 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 Roller coaster, you're up first. Uh, which, how far away are they? Uh, they are. I have a picture for myself to look at right now. They are about 30 feet away. Oh, perfect. Uh, three attacks at whichever one's in front. Okay. The first one is a 24 to hit. And then I forgot to say it, so the second two will be sharpshooter. Okay. Uh, the second one is mod 20 to hit. Yep, yep. The third one <laughs> is a 24 to hit. Yep, yep. All these poor guys. All right, so the first attack does six damage. Copy that. The second attack does 17. Okay. Wow, those are terrible rolls. Three and eight. The third attack does 18. Uh, yeah, you uh, knock a bunch of bones off this massive skeleton and it uh, was previously not struggling to wield its great axe, but it is now struggling to even knocked off a piece of its massive horns. Uh, and it's it's uh, looking rough. Anything else? Uh, do, 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 just uh, want to check something real quick. I'm assuming it's been 10 minutes since we fought yes. those ghosts. Yeah. Okay, then that is the end of my turn. Okay. Uh, Jarvis? Are any two Minotaurs next to each other within five feet of each other? Yeah, there are uh, two that are within five feet of each other. Perfect. Um, the ones... The, the two on the left, then, um, I hurl a bubble of acid at both of them. Okie dokie. And it's a dex, a fifteen dex save. Two fails. Six damage. Anything else? And I'm going to go. So I'm about thirty feet behind um, Paris. You're not going to be able to get thirty feet behind because uh, this room is unless you want to leave the chapel. Nope. Uh, I go a little behind Kairos. Okay. Uh, <laughs> just use, yeah, Kairos as a human shield or a tiefling shield. I um, yeah, so the oh, two man. the two you hit are going to, uh, one of them is going to charge at you, Rolikos. Mm-hmm. And let's see if we can, 14 to hit. Nope. Okay. That's it. That's turn. Jerry, you're up. All right, I go at the one that just took a swing at roller coaster. Okay. So uh, twenty <clears throat> to hit. Yes. Nice. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I'm just. I have a little bit less uh, strength, so I'm just making sure. Oh, it's still a twenty-two to hit, actually. Um, it should calculate it automatically. Yeah, it does it automatically. Uh, da, 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 that sucks. Um, so eight damage on that guy. Then okay. I'm gonna attack again. And twenty six yep. to hit. God damn it! I just threw three ones in a row. Wow. Uh, so another six damage. Way to fill out the bell curve. Yeah, jeez. Anything else? Nope. This one's looking mighty screwed up here. Uh, Kairos. All right, so one's looking real bad. The one closest to you is looking real bad. How far away are the other ones? About 30 feet. Mm. 
Yeah, that'd be a bad idea. Uh, I'm gonna <laughs> go. I'm gonna just hit the one that's close to me. Try to at least. Uh, twenty-four on the first one. Yes, sir. If I recall correctly, these are fiends of undead. Yes, sir. So that is ten points on that guy. How do you kill it? Um. <clears throat> He's a bit too tall to uh, Gallagher's skeletal head, so I just uh, knock out his knees from behind him. Nice. Satisfying crunching sound and crunching feel. It's awesome. perfect. Um, and then I'm going to... Let's see. So that's one attack. You're going to smite sure, I'm the going bones. To smite the bones. Um, I'm gonna hunter's mark uh, one of the remaining ones. Okay. Which one? Any? You, do you have a choice? Um. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay. No, nope, I'm gonna do it to uh, uh, Bruce. Bruce. Okay. Bruce. We'll call that one of the uh, ones that uh, Jarvis attacked. All right. It's Bruce's turn. Bruce is going to make a gore attack on you, Kairos. He feels strangely marked. <laughs> uh, that's a fucking nine. That's a fucking miss is what that is. <laughs> <laughs> the other one is going to make a gore charging attack. There we go. That should hit. 22 on you, Kairos. On me again? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, that does. Ugh, that's going to hurt. All right. And then the extra for the charge. 17 uh, piercing damage. And you need to make a strength saving throw. Okay. Um, well, you know, I have that sweet R of protection, so, uh, with my plus five, that's a six, because I got a nat one. Oh, well, the aura, aura helps. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's not, so you're knocked ten feet back, and you're prone now. And, um, I'm bleeding profusely from a massive horn hole that's just been caved into my chest. Um. A whole no one. <laughs> and there's a little bit of like smoke coming out of this thing's uh, nostrils, bony nostrils. Um, I was a little disturbed by your chat message. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> just a heads up, I have to shoot my dog in 10 minutes with a, with a, a, uh, a life-giving shot, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. He needs, he needs his uh, insulin. Right. Di diabetes. Uh, okay. Cool. Diabetes. Diabetes. Um, all right. That's that one. And the next one is going to make a run at you, Rollercoast. Bring it on. That's a fucking two on the dice. That's not going to do it. Back to the top of the round, Rollercoast. You got one next to you. How far is my dying friend? Uh, I'm ten feet. Don't worry about me. Ten feet. I mean, I'm gonna okay. Let's take the attack of opportunity. Scooch over to my bud. Okay. That's a thirteen to hit. Nope. Okay. And uh, pat him on the back and give him uh, level two cure wounds. Cause I'm a nice guy like that. How does your cure wounds work? Do you grab your... Yeah, I grab the holy symbol, and I don't know how this works yet, really, so I just hit him with it. <laughs> you press it against him? Yeah, I'm okay. like, ugh. Nice. <laughs> you shove it in the wound. <laughs> yeah. And you heal four... Come on, double eight. No. <laughs> uh, Eight. Eight whole God, health. Non total eight. <laughs> That's an eight hundred percent increase if I'm doing my right my <laughs> it's math. Something, I'll take it. 
And then is this a bonus action? Hold on. Do to do, do. Where did you go? Uh, if you've got a creature of your choice within range, you're definitely within. Oh no, it's also a spell. We can't cast two spells, right? Unless the action is a cantrip. If, uh, so then, no. Cure wounds is a action. Yeah. Then uh, nope. That's going to be the end of my turn. All right. Jarvis. I'm going to cast haste on my buddy and give him an extra plus to his AC. Which buddy? Kyrus, because he's getting uh, okay. beat up. Everybody's just loving on Kairos right now. Ooh, we let Kairos. Raya die like nothing. Kairos, you're getting the love. Right? The Minotaurs are also loving on... Kairos as well. Where's uh where's Lulu? Uh Lulu is uh not in not. the I forgot about her. Uh, okay. honestly. Uh <laughs> she's coming in late. She was right. daydreaming outside and you kinda hear like <laughs> just kinda almost like elephant whistling. Can or I something. bonus actions? Lulu, get down here, goddammit. Yeah, there you go. That's perfectly <laughs> and you hear and then she comes in. <laughs> Christ. Zips in. Perfect. That actually works perfectly. All right. Now, now Kyrus gets a free disengage or an extra attack. Why? Because I gave him hate. I'm I'm concentrating haste on him. Oh, nice. So he can hit and run away. <laughs> Lulu or runs in, and uh, her golden her golden fur glistening. And uh, she's going to try to tusk one of these things. Nice. That's a hit. That's six damage. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Also, when I cast haste, I changed the transmuter stone into um, advantage on um, con saving. Okay, and that doesn't um, require an action or bonus action to change a transmuter stone? It just says when I cast a spell, it does. Okay, cool. Uh, cast a first or higher level transmuter No stone. problem. Uh, Jerry is not here. Where did he go? Yeah, where would Jerry go? Oh. <laughs> he, he snuck out. I didn't even realize it dropped down to four pictures. I didn't either because I was looking at papers. Did he leave a message? No. Nothing in Discord. Checking all the text Discord channels. All right. We'll skip him and go to Kairos. All right. Um, I, uh, I I use half my movement to stay. There up. he is. Oh, he came back. Or did he? Hello? David? Hey, I don't know what happened. There he is. Hooray. It's your turn. Jerry's turn. What's going on? You've got three minotaurs within striking distance. <laughs> nice. I'll take the one on the left. Do it. Definitely hits. Uh, come on. Give me some good damage. Yeah. Yes. Uh, 13 damage. First hit. Takes another swing. And that's only 13. Yes, that hits. These guys right. are large. And that is uh, 10 damage. Second swing. Okay. Same Minotaur. Anything else? Nope. How long were you out? I was looking at the down at the papers. How long were you out of the call? It seemed like a solid five minutes. I was just, <laughs> I was just trying to get uh, the internet connection to come back. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, yeah, I was totally oblivious. Um, but you're back now, so that's all that matters. Kairos. Smoothie right. magic. So, I'm gonna stand up, uh, say thanks to Relicos. Yep. Um, I'm going to quickly tap my chest and, um, a surge of silvery light, much larger than even I was expecting, um, uh, <laughs> burst forth as I use 21 points of my lay on hands on myself. How, how much you got left? Nine. I had I had a full. I hadn't used it yet today. Cool. 
Um, so I feel a lot better. Mm -hmm. The hole has closed in my chest, at least mostly. And then I'm going to look towards uh, Bruce, who I hope is the one who hit me, but that's still the one I'm going to go after. Um, then my heavens fall, my, my mace starts shimmering with uh, astral radiance. Um, my bonus action is to branding smite that. And then I'm going to try to hit him with my haste attack. I hope I do. I do. That's a 22. Yep. So I have branding smite regular damage and he's hunter's marked which i won't forget the damage it's another d6 so many d6s wish i could hunter's mark things to stop healing you fools yeah it's silly of you i don't know why you keep healing people to be clear yes i know it's nearly always me <laughs> uh, <laughs> 11 15. I feel like Jerry could fight off the other three of these and I still wouldn't have to heal him. <laughs> Everything's <a> halved. <laughs> 15 regular damage and five points of radiant damage. Just five. Does that do anything more? You killed Bruce. Oh, he's dead. He is uh, shimmering a fun dim light in a five foot radius, though. His bones. That's pretty. And they can't become invisible if they were planning on it. The I bones think. were not planning on it. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely were not planning on but it. But they're very pretty now. Very for pretty. A, for a moment. Uh, and that, that is my turn. It was Bruce's turn, so he's just going to shimmer. <laughs> and the third Minotaur is going to go after Jerry with a great axe swing for 19. Yep. Huh. 25 slashing damage. Damn. Jerry, you're not Rajang. Yeah, it gets me. Oh. And that's its turn. Minotaur 1 is going to go after the wizard with the great axe. Natural 20. Ooh. Lo siento mucho. I can't heal you all. That's uh Oh yeah, I guess uh, I wasn't hiding behind Kairos anymore cuz he ran forward. Yeah. This is <laughs> he ran uh you guys are all pretty grouped up um in this room. Uh, so with the natural 20, does that how does that affect my con save? Is that just Oh, like, it has to do with the, the damage. Damage. Done. So it's going to be bad is the answer. No, I know, but does it still affect my concentration check too? Like does yeah, it, your concentration check is against it's more half damage. the damage you take, or 10 as a baseline if you don't take over 20 damage. Uh, so because it's a crit, that number is going to be much higher, yeah. which is going to make it a Got harder it. concentration check. Got it. <laughs> so yes, it does yeah. affect Got it. concentration uh, check in a really big way. No. <laughs> and I'm going to get hurt. Oh, and that's you're going to get hurt. <laughs> 40 slashing damage. Hash, hashtag take warcaster. How much? 40? Four zero. Oh, I'm on the ground. <laughs> like you're yep. still I, conscious? My, yeah, my, well, my, <laughs> my total hit points, and I'm at max, is 38. <laughs> yep. That's Hashtag wizard life. <laughs> well, there goes that haste. <laughs> I it am... does not like being in small rooms. I am unconscious. <laughs> So, does the haste, when it fades on him, does he get exhausted? No, he's stunned for I one round. I, yeah, I believe I lose a turn. Sorry, Kairos. Yeah, no, that's fine. I was only the trying haste, to help. The haste did a good job for one round. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think me being back there I would get attacked, but I thought wrong. Rollercoast, it's... Things are looking a lot worse around here. <laughs> How many of these? There's still two alive? Uh, Yes. <sighs> Oh, I don't have that many more healing spells. Damn, um, how I haven't rolled one in a while. He's only 10 feet away from me, I'm guessing. Yeah, you're within uh, 10 feet. 
And the one that was on Kairos and I is dead, so I won't take an attack of opportunity. Correct. You can rotate around these guys, still be within range of them. I make my way over to my wizard. Give him a level two <laughs> cure wounds. Ooh, level two. Wow, you got much so more kind. health. <laughs> you get 12. Ah, thank you. Yep. Add one level of exhaustion for going unconscious per our uh, usual agreement. Um, I forgot about that. House rule. Yeah. Sucker, I only went down to one. I'm fine. And <laughs> you planned it perfectly, Kyle. I bonus action, just real quick yell, I am out of healing spells. Just fucking <laughs> stop dying. That's the end of my turn. Fair enough. I also have no healing spells. I only have smite slots left. So sorry guys. <laughs> Jarvis, uh it is your turn. Uh, I'm trying to get rid of this stupid... I guess I can just hit success three times and I'll come back. So I have to shove my healing pot down one of your throats? It was six. Yes. It was 16, right? Yeah. 12. That was 12. Just kidding. Wasn't it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure 12. I heard My 12. bad. I heard wrong. Um, okay, I get up and I'm assuming I have a mentor like right in my face now. Um... Yeah, I'm going to just... So this room behind me is that just staircase to go up? That's all there's that's a behind center, me? There's a center staircase going down. Um, you can exit the same way you came in. Uh, you will take an opportunity attack unless you use your action at, to uh, disengage. Um, you can bonus action feed yourself a potion. Yeah, now is there anywhere in the room that I can like get away from the Minotaurs and not be within like 30 feet of them? Uh, I disengage and run. What's your movement? 30 feet. So you were prone. Oh, yeah. So I'm, that's only 15 feet. Okay, cool. Um, I'm going to Hail Mary and I'm going to cast. Um, I'm going to mind spike the one in front of me. Okay. And. Is that I'm a save or a uh, attack? It's a uh, wisdom save. Okay. And I'm going to do it at third. How's he looking? Um, in front of me. Injured, but not. All right. I'm going to third ready. level. I'm going to third level mind spike him. Okay. He failed. Cool. So I get to do 4d8. Get him. A whopping 12 damage. And... Shit. I was hoping for a whole lot more damage than that. Bonus action potion? Yep. Mark it off and heal thyself. Yeah, I'm trying to find it. I know I have two of them somewhere. It's Lulu's turn! And uh, Lulu has used her trumpet once, and she can only use it three times a day. She is going to... Yeah, she's going to tusk. <laughs> That's going real good. That trumpet's... That's... The nuclear option. 17 hits. Five damage. She's she's trumpeting her. She's all over the place to get the attention of these skeletal minotaurs. You like Lulu. Lulu never gets hit. I like her too much. Damn, um, Brian. Poor you. <laughs> Uh, that damage I did, by the way, is with psychic damage. I forgot to say that. Oh, okay. That okay. Uh, Jerry. How many uh, minotaurs are left? Two. Does one look more 
Yes, the one that it, took down the Jarvis. One on me. <laughs> I run over to the one that's standing over Jarvis and I say, hey, get away from my my meek wizard friend. <laughs> Oh, of course, and I roll terrible. No! Uh, yeah, definitely not going to hit on that one. Nice. Fine. Okay, the second one, I get a 23. Yes. Come on. Take him out. Take him out. Come on. Uh, plus nine damage. Anything and else? I'm going to rage to try to preserve what little health I have left. Okay. Kairos. Um, I am going to move my Hunter's Mark to the one in front of Jarvis, who's still standing. Is that a bonus action? Yes. Uh, yes, use a bonus action to move it. So okay. I'll use my bonus action to move it. And then I will hit it. Mm -hmm. You're hitting the one that was over Jarvis? That's yeah. what you said? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so the first attack is a 21. Yes. For 10 points of damage. Nice. Real good at, real good at doing 10 points of damage at a time. That's my, nice. my go-to number. Looking very injured. Hit him again. 17. 11 points of damage. It's dead. Woo! Crunch, crunch, um, crunch, crunch goes the bones. Take that all back. I'm stunned. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. none, of, none of that happened. No. Not one bit of it. It's all my fault. My bad. I just Thank remembered. you. Thank you for uh, remembering that. I've been like sitting here waiting to say that. And then I was like, oh, my turn. I'm going to go. <laughs> um, nope, nope. Stunned. I'm good. Okay. Uh, that Minotaur who who fictitiously died is now going to swing at Jerry with his great axe for a 13. No, it doesn't hit. Clank off the shield. And the next one is going to go after you again, Jerry. 17? That hits. Nineteen slashing damage. That's not. I haven't halved it for you, so feel free to mm -hmm. do that. Rollercoast. Uh, you said they came from thirty feet away, correct? Yes. I would like to take whatever attacks I'm going to take and get to where they where they came from. Okay. Take two shots. Cool. Uh, twenty-one to hit. That hits. 20 slashing damage. Okay. And that's the only one you're going to take. All right. Then I'm going to take two shots at the one in front of my weak wizard friend, both yep. sharpshooter. So it's only a plus five. That's a nat 20. Hell yeah. Five, Felicia. And then I'll roll damage for that one first. Uh... Jarvis is dying today. Six, double that. I love D and D because 12, the encounters that you seven, think will be hard sometimes aren't, and then the ones you think will be just like <laughs> fodder, like just wreck. So that's twenty-seven damage on that hit. Yeah, that's a good. Yeah. So with your house rules, if I went down again, I would have had a second level of exhaustion, right? Yes. I don't like this roll. <laughs> I just and I then, love it. I just have a hard time believing you just go down and everything's fine when you oh, come no, back I, up. Oh no, I I completely agree with it. I just don't like it. Yeah. Oh yeah, I get that. <laughs> Eleven plus five is sixteen for my second attack on the last one. Standing. It's dead. Isn't there one more? Oh, you don't want to hit the one that was attacking Jarvis again? I thought it died. Did I say that? I said that now, but did I say that a second ago? Yeah, I thought so. Uh, we'll we'll say I did, so it's dead, even <laughs> though it's not. But I'll no. stick to it. No, 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 I could do the damage. It's no, fine. No, no. no, what was the damage on your last <laughs> shot? Uh, with sharpshooter, seventeen. Okay. 
There's one left and it's still up. Anything else? Uh, no. Jarvis. Uh, Jarvis is going to, I didn't think it was going to be my turn that's fist. Uh, Jarvis is going to throw three missiles missiles out at homeboy how many slots you have in that wand left i slept so i'm back to full you didn't you just use it on the shadows or no i don't think so all right i don't have any marked off so i don't think i did. okay what's the damage you doing that too three i'll check again a whole four damage for plus, all three? Oh, no, hold on. The, or one. Oh, I'm sorry. It's plus. Hold on. Plus one for each my, bolt. Yeah. So. Um, oh my God, my brain is not working today. Uh, seven. Okay. Anything else? Where is my magic missile? How far away from I from that last guy? Uh, ten feet. Okay. Oh, um, my bad. Um, I did use. Uh, I did use one of the seven charges. Okay, so cool. I just looked. I have five left now. Excellent. Lulu's turn. Tusk time. <laughs> She's hitting like crazy today. And rolling really well on the damage. Unfortunately, it's only 1d6. All right. Lulu's tusked Jerry. It's my turn? Yes. Swing with the mall again, and that's for 23 again. Yes. And that is, now that I'm raging, that is 9 plus 2 extra damage, 11 plus 15 damage. That was a, quite the hit. It's looking very crumpled and now He crunched. takes another swing. Whoa. Ooh, I just <laughs> I bounced it off the top of the dice tower, and then it landed in the tray, so it worked out well. Uh, 19? Yes. Uh, oh, there's another one. Seven, seven, 13 damage. Dead. Nice. We're out of I combat. Just, I swing it I've through its minotaur face and it just, it just goes right through it like a, like a boiled egg. It's very satisfying crunching these things. Guys, why am I so tired all of a sudden? Oh, I kind of feel the same way. Whew. I just feel like, did I just take a drug? That was crazy. Everything moved really fast there for a second and then really slow. <laughs> you oh, guys, yeah. Oh, you uh, guys I, gave you a little, I gave you a little bit of a boost, Kairos. Uh, sorry that uh, when I went down, that, that boost turned into uh, the anti-boost. Oh, that explains that. Oh, okay. Did you guys, good. What was that? What was that? Does anyone else feel like slightly less strong than they normally are significantly i would describe it as yes all right yeah i feel like a little bit less strong but i'm still pretty pretty strong even but all right compared to who someone came home Lulu. so compared to my usual like i'm pretty built so I, I take care of myself pretty strong but i can tell when i'm a little bit off Feel nice man. i mean the muscles are there but i but they just feel weak. Jarvis is just walking around, and every once in a while, you kind of see him trip over himself. Are we gonna sit and take a breather? Uh, are those are those bugs still around? Can they like keep an eye out? You know, no, Gideon's they're in bugs. Gideon's room, which oh. is a separate building. <laughs> I'm not looking too hot after that last attack I took. Yeah, we can take a let's take a quick breather here in the cathedral before we uh, go down the stairs. Can I look around the cathedral? Yes, sir. What would you like to look at? I there's that stained glass window. Is there are there like is there a lot of broken glass all over the place? Yeah, there's broken glass. There's the one that's still intact. The window that's still intact. How about just like broken glass that's on the ground? Yeah, it's stained glass. Okay. I'm just... what do you... Just want to look through it, see okay. if I see like another. Maybe it fell in such a way that I could still see what the window was. So you want to look at the broken glass, but not the one that's intact. You already described the one that's intact, right? Okay. All right. Um, 
Yeah, make an investigation check. Well, okay, so I will. So I, I mean, I know that you said that there was a picture of a guy putting a putting a some sort of crown on on another person's head. Yeah. Right. So I'm basically looking for that crown somewhere. Okay. Um, so if I can somehow investigation yeah. is eleven. Uh, you're not finding in all the rubble and debris. You're not finding any sort of crown similar to the one in the picture. Guys, uh, where this where this crown go? I think it's important. We've gotta find this thing, man. Well, is it a helm that Torm is supposed to have? A helm of someone? It wasn't a crown, was it? What does it look like again? I don't think we know what it looks like. I mean, that's a crown for sure. I mean, that's just, I mean, that's just a dude getting crowned. It's we're in the church, man. Do you, do you think that crown might have a pearl on it? I still need one of those. He's looking for a helm of Torm. I don't know what it looks like, though. You You haven't found any crowns in here. Is a helm kind of like a crown? Yeah, it's basically it can be it's based similar. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, I don't know. Just a hunch, guys, from my watch my watch senses. I'm gonna say that we should probably try to find this crown. I think you said it's in the crypt. Well, that's where we're going, isn't it? Oh. Okay. Well at least he went in the crypt. <laughs> find the the helm. I, don't know. I thought we might stumble on it in here. But well, this place looks pretty. Uh, yeah, it looks like there's nothing in here. <laughs> All right. So, on the, are you guys resting for an hour? I would like to. Okay. Yes. So, Question on the long rest for my character. If I'm taking rest. a long, or if I'm taking a short rest, um, to get hit points back, can I? At also use that to start copying a spell, or does can I not do that while I'm trying to actually take a short rest? Um, I'll say right now, you especially after what happened, it's going to be difficult to do that. Also, like, that's true. Do you want me to roll the hit die in the uh, channel? No, you can do that here on your table. <laughs> oh, damn it. So we're getting our short rest on? Yeah. Cool. Uh, on the other side of the stairs that go down, there's a curtain uh, covering torn curtain, and you think that it's another part of this building that kind of hooks to the left um, beyond. So it's an L-shaped on, building. On this level. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Well, after I rest up, I, I would take a look over there but that's after the rest happens yep it happened in this part of the chapel the smashed remnants of fine furniture and the remains of stained glass windows are also strewn across the area sections of the one huge stained glass window remain intact enough so that the subject can still be made out the window once portrayed lothander standing and amid fallen soldiers holding his hands aloft as the spirits of the dead rise to stand at his side Whoa, that's a different tone than the other one. All the furniture is shattered. There's yes. Nothing, okay. Nothing to look through, really. Oh yeah, I mean it's just more, uh, more church back there, guys. Uh, crypt. It looks like is the place to go. Yeah, I mean that's the goal. Well, I guess uh, I'll go first. <clears throat> Heft up my shield and. Start walking down the stairs, keeping okay. an eye out for traps or things that are going to blow up in my face. So you want to like hold check on, for... R real quick. Guys. No, just keep an eye out, guys, guys, guys. Can we what? attempt to do this quietly? What? That guy's not quiet. Yeah, oh, attempt yeah. was probably the key word in that phrase, but I would sure. I would have liked it to have been quietly. Do you want me to uh, go in the back? No, it's a, I don't think it matters what order we go in. I just want you to oh, okay. yeah, softer maybe. footsteps, less clinkety-clank. There's a word for that. It's called stealth. 
Yeah, says that's Lulu. what I'm aiming at here. Lulu, to do you, Lulu, Lulu, was that sarcastic? Or do you? Is that no, sarcasm? I'm sin- I'm sincerely saying that that's called stealth. Okay. Thanks, <laughs> Lulu. Don't know what I do without you. The best. Hey, Lulu, why didn't you use your trumpet when we were all getting our asses kicked? Because I can only use it a certain number of times, and who who knows how bad it'll get once we get down to the demon portal. Hey, is your is your memory coming back at all? Do you remember anything more about what happened to Daryl uh, and any of that stuff? Not quite yet. I mean, I'm sure something will jog my memory. And <laughs> Jared just slap, slaps her sure. in the back of the head. I already knew it was coming. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Sorry, Lulu. I was going to warn you, Lulu, but it, he's too quick. Did that jog your memory, Lulu? No, but thank you for trying. You're welcome. Cherry, don't hit Lulu. She's but it might jog elephant. her memory, though. Well, that's not how memories work. Uh, I don't know. My my uncle, he fell down the stairs. He suddenly was able to sing entire <laughs> entire catalog of this artist that I like. Is that because he remembered them, or all of a sudden he became good at singing? It was like he developed a new skill and also remembered all these songs from his childhood. Wow. So we need to find Lulu a flight of stairs. So Lulu starts to fly up, and you feel her trunk (laughs) slap you in the back of the head, and she goes, did that jog your memory, Jerry, for anything? (laughs) And then Jerry Jerry seriously ponders it, and he's just like, no, I don't think so. I just oh. golf clap. <laughs> okay, so you guys are going to stealth? Hit me with your stealth rolls. 12. Mod 20. <laughs> 12. <laughs> 4. Oh. There it is. It's not me this time. It's not me this time. <laughs> oh, wait. I get to roll again. Oh, Second yeah. 14, so I'll stick with the 12. I also got a 12 and a 14 at disadvantage. Crazy. Anyway. Wait, what? Gary, why would you take the 12 over the 14? Because I have disadvantage. I don't get to oh, choose. Oh, disadvantage. <laughs> yeah. Why do we have disadvantage? I have exhaustion. Oh. Disadvantage on ability checks. That's rough. I think yep. you, haven't, you haven't been knocked unconscious since uh, the first like the first or second game. The first goes. and second game. Oh yeah, <laughs> I was not Jarvis, unconscious. Jarvis is tripping over himself as he walks. Get it together. We're and even after that short rest, do we still have the uh, strength problem? Uh, no, that went away. You can okay. uh, yes. fix that. Fantastic. Glad you asked. Can I get rid of my exhaustion? No. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> it was worth a try. Sure. Sure. Oh. I'm glad we took a break, guys. I'm sorry. I'm supposed to be whispering. I'm glad we took a break. I feel a lot better. Let's keep going down. Yeah. I'm very comically tiptoeing down this. <laughs> Jerry, you smell goes, like blood. I feel amazing. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I, I, Jerry, God. Jerry, get it together. <sighs> Lulu, you hit him on the head and he can sing now. <laughs> and exactly does. what he described. His voice isn't half bad. I blessed him. <sighs> Sorry, guys. All right, so heading down the stairs. This is uh, seems to be a workshop area where priests and acolytes prepare dead bodies for final interment. Uh, the place has been ransacked with knives, saws, pipings, and tubes littering the floor. There's acid and embalming fluid pooling everywhere <coughs> amid, amid a field of shattered flasks and jars. Hey, Jerry. Hey, Jerry. I found a swimming pool for you. Doesn't look it, safe. It doesn't smell good down here either. I wouldn't go swimming in that. Is there another door out of here? Yeah, there's two double doors that are broken hanging off the hinges leading downstairs that tease off so you can go right or left after you get down the stairs i'm gonna onward hand up and yeah go go forward a bit take a look to the left to the right you don't see anything you want to make a perception check yeah 
Yeah, sure. I don't know why. I can't see shit. Nope, I don't. I, well, that's a one for a one. Yep. One. Exactly what I told you. You don't. And I like signal the signal the guys forward and continue. Uh, you only can't go wrong when you're going right. So I go right. Okay. <clears throat> Let me pull out the encounter booklet. No, I'm kidding. Um... <laughs> and you're dead. No more minotaurs. <laughs> Uh, so, um, no, we're downstairs. Worse. You go downstairs to the right and it hangs a left and another left and it goes down more stairs. And then you come to a vault, uh, rubble strewn everywhere. There's five marble statues atop daises. Four of the statues are unrecognizable as their features have been badly marred by fallen rock from and cracked and from the crack ceiling. Uh, the fifth is a finely carved statue of a kneeling man. Do I recognize the statue? Um, you can make a history or religion check if you like. First roll 17. Second roll 6, so 6 plus 7. 13. That's enough. Uh, you see, you think that's Lannish Fogel. Um, and uh, its head, you can tell there was some sort of... Um, it's It's been sculpted to wear a separate helm, but no helm is present. And this room, it's, it's a dead end. It's just a vault with these statues. Do I know anything about Lannish Fogel? Um, he liked grilled cheese sandwiches. Cool. And um, he hated all vegetables. So um, even beans. Even beans, and he died of constipation. Are beans a vegetable? So I remember this guy. This Sometimes. this this, this was Lannish Fogel, <laughs> and he died of constipation, and he didn't like beans. He's completely the opposite of you, Kairos. He's a blasphemer. Um, but. I I, there, there was a, there was regular. that that helm thing he was talking about, that that Jerry was talking <clears> about earlier. It was on his head before. It's gone. No, that makes sense. I mean, it looks like we're in a vault here. But Are you I, sure it was on its head? Yes. However, my memory has been a little foggy since I, you kind of brought me back up again. So maybe Lulu should hit you. Looking and, around the vault more, I'm gonna start looking around. Um, is there any like? Other compartments or anything like that, like, or is it just nothing? Um, no, you uh, make a survival check. No, you uh, make a survival check. No, <laughs> you make a survival check. God, seven. I'm gonna stop using that one. Yeah, everything looks rubbly and stony. Jerry takes a kind of like mimics. Kairos looking around. Let's try to like he like makes it more dramatic and like pulls some dirt out, out of the ground. He's like like looking at it, smelling it. Do you want to make a survival check? Yes. Okay. <laughs> ah, damn it. Uh, not very good. The dirt smells bloody. I'm also going to look around this statue and investigate it to see if I see anything else that might seem off about it or hidden. Sure. Roll an investigation check. Oh, great. I don't like the first roll. Let's see what the second roll brings. Three and a four. Uh, ten. You find a mistake on the statue of maybe where the chisel slipped or something on the back of the elbow, and it's not a good look. <laughs> wow. Pretty embarrassing for the sculptor. And there's <clears throat> no other way out of here? No, I mean, you. there was the... You went right uh, at that T. Yeah, yeah, I just want to make right sure right that in this room we could only go back. Yeah, as far as you know, yeah. Okay. All right, so I guess uh, you can go wrong when you're going right. So uh, when we'll go left. The Go statue doesn't anymore. have his like handout or anything like the last one did upstairs, right? No. Cool. And we go back. 
to the left. So entering this room, it's an ossuary. Uh, the walls of the chamber, chamber are lined with funerary shelves, each set with dusty humanoid bones, relics, and holy symbols of Lathander, Torm, Helm, and Tear have been set prominently on a number of shelves. Well, this place is creepy. I look for, uh, see, for, like, footsteps to see if it looked like Huldir might have come through here. Survival check. Eighteen. You find footsteps. You find uh, humanoid footsteps, boots footsteps, leading uh, this way and north for about 30 feet, and then they go to the right into a separate room. Um, you, Amongst those, you also find demonic footsteps, both going, uh, mostly going out from going towards the way you came from. Uh, you find a few going towards the same direction. Do we just see Rillicos turn it in a specific direction and go... Yeah, no, he goes... He does a panting thing that cats, that big cats do. <laughs> and then I was looking at my equipment and I just realized <laughs> that I still have cat snacks. So I'm going to have one. Okay. <laughs> it makes you feel better. Sick. I gave all my. And you remember slobber children. chops and that gives you good memories. Yeah. I miss slobber chops. Good guy. Cut to slobber chops uh, currently with some <laughs> random family, uh, and he's laying with his belly out on the table, and one of the kids is tossing grapes into <laughs> his cat mouth. Awesome. Uh, I missed that Chicago accent. <laughs> I don't even know how I... I don't even think it was Chicago at the time. It just happened. Um, so do you want to follow the tracks? Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. so. All right, so you enter this meditation chamber. Uh, this area is set with cushions and low stools of brown oak. Above an empty dais, the wall is covered with a mosaic shaped from colored chips of bone, artfully arranged to depict scenes of funerals, the migration of souls and the celestial realms. Lettering along the bottom of the mosaic reads, Contemplate life. Death comes soon enough. Wow. And the this E in the really uplifting place, guys. I feel better than I did when I this place sucks. And the <clears> E <throat> in death is a three. So did anyone else notice this? And I point to the three. <laughs> <laughs> I think they spelt it wrong. Nope. Dead three, buddy. Dead three. Oh. This place does not seem like a good place. Anybody with me here? Anybody with um. me? Nothing just, here it, seems it, good. I yeah, just thought I take, they knew. Leech. I take out my pad of paper and go back to one of the first pages, just something I wrote down about the dead three. I'm like, see, dead three. <laughs> Sorry, my memory's really foggy after that guy just whacked me. It's cool. I'm real good at solving crime in cases. <clears throat> it's uh, dead three. Case solved. I thought we dealt with Is that. it, though? Or is it case ongoing with more oh, right. I guess it's, uh, information? <laughs> Sorry, I, I always think I jump right to the end. You're right. Nope. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> <Dead three. laughs> Jerry just goes, have we reached a verdict? <laughs> yes. Yes, we um, have. <laughs> I do investigate the three closer. Um, is there anything tricky about it? Is it a switch? Is it actually a switch? Make an investigation check. <laughs> oh my god, I got a zero. Oh my god. You're you're like, I'm gonna investigate this, and you start feeling around on the D instead of the three, and you're totally fine with it. Pretty sure that word is clear. <clears throat> and I start looking around the rest of the room just like for the next place to go. Like a door. Yeah. Like, you can yeah. follow the path, and it curves off to the right, and there's a door. The uh, footsteps footsteps still going that way? Yep, continue, and there's a door, a stone door that's closed. 
Jerry try, tries the handle. Try to push, and it opens. And what you see is a shallow meditation pool filling the room, set off from a Yay! broad landing edged by a low wrought iron railing. Wondrous frescoes along the walls depict souls gaining the blessings of Lathander, Torm, Helm, and Tear. The frescoes on one wall have been twisted into abyssal forms surrounding a shimmering portal. The pool is littered with the mutilated bodies of humans wearing the uniforms of Baldur's Gate and El Torel. The swirling pool of water roils with shadow <laughs> and is shot through with patches of black ichor where demons have fallen here. An armored man with a shield slung over his back crouches amongst the bodies, writhing in pain. His eyes are closed and his hands clutch at a gold helm on his head as if he's trying in vain to claw it off. Unintelligible words spill from his lips, some sounding saintly and solemn while others resonate with cruel hissing. The shield on this guy's back has the Flaming Fist symbol on it. And uh, those of you familiar with Flaming Fist and older... Um, which is all of you. Uh, this looks like old Raven Guard. And, uh, any of you speak Abyssal or Celestial? I do. Celestial, yes. Abyssal. Okay. So you have to read all the translation. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. so some of the words escaping since you guys um none of you speak both um you 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 know make an intelligence check All can i help can we help each other fill in the blanks and... yeah one of you can make a intelligence check with advantage or you both can roll i'm sure both of you will, will want to roll <laughs> <laughs> I have disadvantage on my rolls right now. Who is both of us? So, uh, well, the ones who can speak <laughs> Abyssal and... Uh, and Kairos. And I have a negative one. Well, oh! You're actually going to... Wow. Yeah, and I got a 14. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Really good for me, I would even say. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put the die. Pretend this is uh, whatever that dice game is called. Aww. Aww. Hey. I'm smarter than the smart guy. Kairos, you think that there's <laughs> a psychic struggle taking place within Raven Guard's mind between some divine higher power and a terrible demonic entity. Um, yeah. Okay. Jerry uh, just walks up to the to the uh, the older gentleman, and he he's like, "Hey!" He's, and he looks back at the guys, and he's like, "Hey, this guy's got the thing." Jerry, I'm... hold on, <laughs> back up, back back away. Something's going on with this guy. Hold up, and hold up. Hey. I'm gonna walk up and just uh, utter a blessing to whore, and I'm going to. Uh, don't know if it'll do all that much. I'm going to hit him with a lesser, lesser restoration. Okay. Because it's what I can do. Um, is Let's that a touch it, spell? It is a touch spell. Okay. So I'll get up to him and I'll, I'll say, Jerry, now stand right next to me. I want you close. Just... And that's when Kairos turned to stone. Hang in there, buddy. We're going to unfreeze you. Uh, when you touch him, sorry about the uh, sirens, yeah, if you can hear him. An emergency happens. Uh, so, uh, when you touch him, your vision uh, leaves this area and is taken uh, somewhere else. And in front of you, you see a bloodied woman in armor. And uh, she's clearly a soldier wearing the colors and crest of El Terrell. She's grasping a longsword fit for an angel. Fresh blood streams uh, from a nasty cut on her cheek. 
uh, flying next to the woman is someone you recognize. It is a small golden elephant with rapidly fluttering wings. You see this is Lulu. Um, and in front, there's a massive 30-foot-tall demon lopping forward, threatening to destroy the woman. And as it's getting closer, she plunges the sword into the ground while the winged elephant trumpets like you've never heard Lulu trumpet with her trunk before. And the demon is immediately hurled back as an alabaster palace rises up around the sword. And the... <coughs> it's very much like that elephant sound. The winged elephant fle f flees and um, takes to the skies, to the red skies of Avernus. Uh, and uh, as it's up there, you kind of seeing Lulu look down on the ground. Uh, a bloody scab grows up around the palace uh, and engulfs it and the enormous demon. And uh, next thing you know, you see the Lulu um, fleeing desperately and uh, not in any sort of determined direction, just kind of deliriously panicking. Oh, that was a terrifying noise. Um, deliriously panicking until she comes upon some bird-like humanoids dressed in patchwork armor, uh, standing next to this massive Mad Max-like machine, bubbling away and burping black smoke out of its tailpipe. Uh, the bird creatures are clearly Kenku. Uh, they have some Yay. weird weapons and tools, and you flash back to where you are with older on his knees still, unchanged. But that's what you saw. What just happened? <clears throat> oh, I saw a whole lot. Uh, Lulu. But Lulu's right here. Yeah. They try to sell you anything? I think I just got some of your memory, Lulu. Uh, it hurts my head a lot. What do you mean? I saw you uh, with someone a woman and she was being attacked and she had a sword and a palace burst around the sword and then a scab grew over the palace and you were flying away it looked like what you described in terms of like some of isn't that what you said someone gave you a sword to hide yeah it's oh yeah i remember those those birds their name is chucka and clonk yeah and they had some big machine and, and, uh, yeah, those machines run on coins or something. Uh, the, the Chunka, Chucka and Clonk took me to this place called Fort Knucklebone. And then they, they wanted to repair their vehicle. If I, my, if my memory, it's kind of foggy on that part. Um, but yeah, that's about all I can remember. And, uh, yeah. Well, well, that gives us uh, a few locations to look into. So it looks like the sword is wherever that palace sprung up, is what I saw. Uh, uh, there was a huge demon, too, that was going to kill your friend. Really? Yeah. Was it like that big white tall. palace we were in just, just yesterday? Not at all. It's not even, it's, it was a new, it's, not even it's like a brand it's like new so wrong that you can't even fathom how wrong i am you correct i can't even i can't even <laughs> put words to it um, it's like, like, like this like is billy, like billy this madison like elsa and frozen just like made a castle spring up around <laughs> yes like new beautiful beautiful white palace until it up. scabbed over until the the until infernal scab scabbing happened right. uh so everyone's by the way, while everyone's having conversation, Jarvis is just kind of sitting in the corner chilling, um, casting Detect Magic as a ritual. Okay. Um, 
you also think after coming out of that and casting Lesser Restoration that this is going to take some ritual um, to get off of Older's head. And um, he's clearly incapacitated and you're going to have to carry him. Uh, Faria did mention while you guys were having your long rest there that she w was specializing learning how to exercise demons and do rituals. And you think that that may be something that she could help you with in terms of helping older Raven guard. Gotcha. How much does he weigh? He's a, uh, I mean, he's a, like as much as Kairos. He's a big guy. Like, uh, yeah, between the two of us, Jerry and I can get him. Is he we... less than 500 pounds? Yes. <laughs> can we put him in the back of old? No. <laughs> you, you can try. It's Don't one foot diameter opening. Oh, that's so... true. I have to chop him into pieces. <laughs> uh, you can do that. I can get him by myself. I've got like double the carrying capacity now. Yep. Oh, that's right. literally by himself um, well, we can definitely we definitely should carry him out of here but uh my bigger concern is that thing and i just point to the wall that you said was like twisted into a crazy portal yeah and as you're looking at it and pointing at it this massive nine foot tall fleshy being called the glabrazu steps out of the portal and I'm going to link a picture for you. We were told oh, things coming out of the portal. Is that like a uh, Labrador mixed with a kazoo? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Mm, oh, that's that's fun. Okay. Um, Where did it get? Oh, I didn't miss it. Where it's the heck so is... buff and yet oh, so scrawny. It's got so... pincers and uh, forearms, chitinous upper body with a furry b lower body, reptilian feet. Those are like those are like eagle feet. Jarvis asks, "So is this a devil or a demon?" Came out of the portal. I'm hitting it. Oh, <laughs> I'm a demon. Uh, <laughs> if uh, oh, deal. you wouldn't mind, I'd like to talk to you before we possibly uh, murder fight. you. Uh, this thing looks very imposing. Way more imposing than anything you fought in this cemetery so far. Uh, and it says. Surely, uh, I would be in danger if we fought, but I promise you, a few of you would join me in death uh, if we did fight. So let us have a discourse. Nope. Can you bring our guy back over here to life? No, but uh, related what? to... What? What? The, the, what could, what, why, why should we just get rid of you? Because I I'll think, kill I you. Think he just, I think he just said, yeah, because several of us were You look angry. like you've been through a few fights today already. You look like I could kill you with my my uh, weak arm. Don't Starts we all wagging. look? Which one's your weak arm? Perfectly it's this healed. One. Oh, okay, good. He just told us which one his weak arm is. So, uh, you want to keep your friend. I want to make a deal. How does that sound? Uh, it sounds pretty strange. I don't. What do you want? I guess. Do you just walk up to people and be like, "I want to make a deal with you"? It seems strange. Uh, oddly it's... enough, I do do that sometimes. Uh, I, can you uh, I, I can live you put me on life. the do not solicit list? Did I before this guy came out? Did I get my um, detect magic done? Sure. Cool. Um, what's pinging around me? Uh, older sword. And there's some spell scrolls that are in the water, in the swirling, ichor-ridden water. Mm. Next to the portal. Next to this massive being. <laughs> <laughs> and it says, uh, uh, my name is Drepfexul. And 
the do not call list we don't have one of those here in uh, i don't believe they have one here in hell or in the i know they don't have one in the abyss uh but, uh, but the deal i'd like to make with you is that um well you tell me what you need and uh, i i'll t i'll see about furnishing that uh but you gotta get this guy woken up well, uh, we do, but I don't know. Come on, bigger picture. I want while, El Terrell out of hell. While they're talking and he's somewhat distracted, I'm going to... Is is those scrolls within 30 feet of me, per se? Yeah, but they're, like, within five feet of this drip fetch. Beautiful. I'm going to attempt to sleight of hand with my mage hand and try to grab this. Okay. Make a stealth slide or make a sleight of hand. Those advantage don't fail me now. Seven. <laughs> uh, you, you are making tons of noise in this water with the rocks, and uh, you manage to pull them out, and Drefek Fexul doesn't he sees it happening and doesn't care. Okay. Um, when you look at them, you see that they are spell scrolls of mass healing word, remove curse, and tongues. Uh, Drebfexul says, um, yeah, I can certainly give you an idea of how to have the helm removed, but that would be part of our deal, and I would need you to return the helm to me and also not try and close this portal. Uh, Hefty Bill. I mean, we don't know you from any other, uh, demon. What kind of range of power are we are we talking is on the table here? Like my buddy said, we we want to get Altrell just out of hell, but I'd be pretty surprised if you could snap your fingers and just do that. Oh, I can't do that. Uh, that would be quite a feat, and uh, quite frankly, I don't know how to do that. But I can provide you travel services, or if you need a, a healing potion or uh you you tell me what you need shields? these sound like really shitty deals no nah, not necessarily this shield is pretty crappy that i got a candle keeper we that need was. the helm well, I'd, i'm not saying we give up the helm for it he might take something he just else said he's the helm the helm oh, yeah that would be if we if he tells us how to how to get the helm then he, we would also have to give him the helm and keep the portal open i'm not even talking about the helm i just want to know if i want to do you have a snazzy shield and what's the price uh jarvis the helm is not glowing <laughs> by the way oh okay so just the sword yeah I, the yeah just to reiterate uh, it's just the sword and those spell scrolls. Um, and he says, uh, I would need, uh, so you want a shield. I mean, I think that would require probably 20% of your total lifespan, whatever that may be, uh, would need to be put in the contract. It would be lowered, of course. Um, I mean... Lowered in what way? Like just taken off the top. Like if I was gonna live till eighty, like now it's sixty. Yeah, exactly. Or am I gonna like <laughs> lose twenty percent of my overall constitution and 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 healthiness for the rest of whatever my life? You'll just is? die sooner. Just die sooner. Okay. <clears throat> Although, if you, you do want your credentials, pardon me. Who who are you again? What are your credentials exactly? Uh, well, I can furnish you, you these things. What are my credentials? What kind of credentials are you looking for? <laughs> well, like, I mean, so I'm uh, not to like throw names around, but I, I'm, I'm a paladin of whore and he's, he's pretty, pretty great. <clears throat> so I'd imagine if you're going to shave life off of my, you know, total lifespan, it's got to be something that he can't just like give it back to me and just be like, here, you know, because you're cool. Oh no, that would. Uh, I break... assume that's not how it works. Yeah, that would break uh, the contract. All out. That <laughs> would break the contract. And... <laughs> right. So who enforces said contract? Oh, there's plenty of uh, extra planar beings that enforces that enforce the contracts, as you can imagine. 
some of the more powerful devils and demons, uh, if they break a contract, the enforcer of the contract would also need to be equally powerful or more so. Um, that is not something I recommend. Uh, well, sure. No. For... I, uh, I used to be one of those enforcers for my family. I mean, I, I get the, I get the gig. It's, it's part. I was just curious, just trying to figure it all out. How was Nazi a shield? Are we talking here for uh, twenty percent of my life force? God damn it, Kairos! <laughs> Don't make deals with devils for twenty percent of your life force. The demon, it's not a devil. Oh, guys, Demons. guys, you convinced me to give up my last shield, and do you know how many times I've gotten gored since I gave up that shield? I'm just. <laughs> Why did you give up your shield again? Because you guys convinced oh, me. Oh yeah, that shield. <laughs> it the was one, awesome. The one that got in our heads. So. Who's nice uh, guy? 20% of your life force, as well as I need the helm after you remove it from this person's head, uh, oh. and I need you to leave the portal alone. Well, shit. I mean, I thought we were just talking about my life force here. I, I can't give you a helm. That's just unfortunate. I mean, I can... Do you take gold? What, Dave... what about, like, we leave, we leave the... We put the portal... Like, we make it real small, so only, like, little demons can come out. No, I'm sorry. It's going to need to remain here, untouched, unchanged. At some point, you're going to have to compromise. I guys, have, guys, it's, this is an uncompromising... Negotiating 101. <laughs> you should you guys, offer some of those children that, that you get calls about, Jerry. Maybe he'll take some of those children. He already said he can't, has no power in that in that realm. I already asked him to get me off that list. I mean, really, when you look at it, guys, we got one of two things. Either we deal with a uh, uh, Drek here, who, Drep, who just seems nice enough, or, you know, we walk out and then we have Gideon. If we leave the portal open, then Gideon's going to be pissed. We're going to have to deal with him and those bugs. We're already here with this guy. I just, just... I got, okay, here's a throw in. How about you and me get to trade places for a day? Like, I get to be you and you get to be me. So I could. You see, you see this massive, horrifying creature do exactly what I just did and kind of twitch its <laughs> massive head, horned head, look confused, and turns back to Kairos and just says, so... Uh, <laughs> no, he has a valid offer. We, we are a great group. You get to hang out with the rest of us. That is not something that I want. Uh, that would be... Uh, Something I would consider using as torture in one of the levels of the abyss. Well, oh. that's just rude. Wow. I'm a demon. Do you take gold for these items? <laughs> uh, I do collect treasure, but it would uh, require quite a lot of gold. I have plenty of gold. These are not things that I... Although I can provide gold to you if you are looking for gold once you get out of here. If you get out of here... Um, or titles, or... But but is anything going to come with you need the helm and we need to leave the portal open? That's that's where... That's, that's like a rider on any contract, right? That's in the contract. Well, let me just limber up I, then. I mumble, <laughs> this, this I mumble work. under my breath oh. and I cast message to Kairos <laughs> and say, can we just kill him? And I just... I'm just like... It's, Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Just like get ready to wind up. Yeah, roll initiative. <laughs> oh man. Damn. Was not expecting that. <laughs> you expected us to take the deal? I I'm so glad I used some <laughs> I used like more than two uh, hit die. I'm glad you did too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, I'm so am I. glad I'm back up to mass max health. Don't you love it when we just ignore your DM warnings? Uh, this guy looks very formidable. I love it because <laughs> I, don't, I don't have to feel guilty if something happens. No, you don't. Uh, You're right. 20 to 15 or higher. Uh, 20. Oh, I guess I should roll. Uh, oh, no, the ability checks don't count against disadvantage for initiative, right? It's I an, believe initiative is an ability it's check. It's an ability check. Fucking balls. Sorry. <laughs> Give me two natural 20s. Come on. Uh, 
nine and a 10, 11. Oh, wait, I don't know why I'm shouting out my number. Sorry. 15 to 10, 11. I am at 12. Kairos, where are you at? Nine again. All right, Jerry, you're up. Drip Fexul. Clax. <laughs> so he's, he's standing right next to the uh, sleepy dude? Yeah, the guy who's stunned and struggling in a psychic battle. Okay, I just take some swings at the the uh, demon with my maul. Okay. And I'm raging. I'm raging as a bonus action to okay. start off with. Okay. Uh, 21 to hit? Yes. Oh, sorry. Uh, 23? Yes. yes. Oh, damn it. Six plus. Fourteen damage. Fourteen damage. Taking another swing. Oh, uh, seventeen. That just hits. Sweet. Sixteen damage. Takes your powerful blows, shrugs them off, and is ready to. Uh, clap back at you, Jerry. He's gonna multi attack. Um, you guys are so lucky in this one that I got the first initiative. He's just gonna <laughs> wail on me. <laughs> yep, but you're raging, so you're the right one to get wailed on. Gonna make two pincer attacks first. <laughs> That's a 12 and a 14. Neither hit. Oh, okay. And then uh, two fist attacks. That's a natural 20 and a uh, 26. Yeah, they both hit. Ow. My armor class is 16. Uh, uh, 12 bludgeoning damage from the fists punching you in the face. And um, that's its turn. Rollercoast. Is there enough room for me to get 30 feet away from him? Ooh, that's a good question. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Yeah, you can do it if you're standing kind of in the entryway. Fine with me. I back up. And I hope none of my group is looking at me because I lied to them about being out of spells. I just hoped they weren't going to get hit anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and They all have terrible I, passive perception, so you're fine. Sick. I bonus action divine favor myself, okay. which gives me an extra d4 radiant damage on hit. Okay. And then I take my three attacks. Uh, all three will be sharpshooter because YOLO. The first one's a 12. Nope. The second one's a 17. Just it. The third one is a 23. Yep. And this. So the first hit is... What is that? Six plus ten is sixteen, and then four radiant, if that okay. matters. And the second hit is twenty and two radiant. So what's the total? Forty-two. Uh, sixteen and twenty is thirty-six plus six. Yeah, forty-two. If the radiant doesn't do extra damage, just let me know, and I'll add it all together next time. It doesn't. Okay. My beautiful mind math brain is not here today, so it's taking me for freaking ever. All right, got it. Okay. Is that your turn? Yes. Jarvis. 
Jarvis is also going to step back with Relicos, but so he's 30 feet away from Kairos. And he's going to, once again, cast Haste on Kairos. And okay. Kairos is just going to feel a nice little boost. Okay. Anything else? That is all. Okay. Uh, Lulu's turn. She's going to use one of her trumpeting attacks. Do me a favor when you do the trumpet, turn it, turn the volume down a little bit. No fun. It's really loud. It's real loud, dude. Oh. Uh, I have no idea which volume control controls that, so we'll see if this worked. Where did I put that? Oh. There we go. Sparkle time. Constitution saving throw. Makes the save. I don't feel like that worked. It was quieter on my computer. <laughs> 11 damage. That's Lulu's turn. Kairos. Uh, sweet. I'm going to try something. I don't think I've even done it before. I'm going to uh, smear a drop of blood across my uh, necklace, my holy symbol of horror, and cast Bane on him. Okay. I need a charisma saving throw. That is a 23. <laughs> <laughs> Noted. He's fine. Uh, <laughs> he's very charismatic. <laughs> very charismatic. Um, probably why. Yeah, I probably could have figured that out. What would make well, Bane? Do? Bane would give him disadvantage on certain stuff. Uh, or it's like, min yeah. minus D four on attacks and saves. Uh, but it didn't work, so it didn't stick. All right, so that is my action. Uh no bonus action that turn and then my haste action will be to just attack I'm guessing he is no undead whatsoever that's not going to hit him that's a 12 nope and that is my turn okay uh, Jerry it's your turn take some more swings with the mall ooh nice uh, gets that 17 again yep Twelve damage. And then takes another swing. Dang it! And he's gonna miss for an eleven. Um, so yeah, that's it. Okay. All right. Uh, it's now Drepfexul's turn, and Drepfexul is going to run. Do I oh. opportunity attack him? You do get one. I would too then. Ooh, that's a hit. Twenty. So it's just a regular attack. A regular attack for me. Like I just roll yeah. regular damage and stuff. Yeah. There was a twenty-three on my opportunity attack. Cool. So uh, twelve damage for me. Okay. Ten. Hit him for with me. the mall. I hit him in the butt. In his little lobster butt or whatever he is. All right, and he takes it, uh, looking injured, and runs towards Rolikos and is going to power word stun Rolikos, which True. doesn't have a save. Oh. Uh, power words don't get saves. That's what makes them so powerful. Brian learned that the hard way. Um, sure did. And uh, he's going to make two pincer attacks with advantage since you're stunned. Uh, it's a natural 20 on the first one. And a 28 on the oh, second yeah. one. Oh, those hit. Forty one damage on the first one. Holy shit. <laughs> and uh sixteen 
Yeah, damage. I'm unconscious. <laughs> oh, jeez. And it has, since he's unconscious, I would have done it anyway, but um, since medium or smaller creature, uh, Rollercoaster's body is grappled in the pincers. Oh. Sick. Cool. And uh, that's its turn. Rollercoaster, it's your turn to make a saving throw. Nine. Okay. Mark a fail. Uh, one failure. Jarvis? Uh, so, if I were... T- is he still he's right next, next to, to me? You. Or is yeah. he... Okay, he's still next to me. Um, so, I'm going to... Use my bonus action to give my friend my health potion that is in my pocket, my last health potion. You can't do a bonus action to give someone a a potion. Also, it's in uh, Drepfexul's grasp, and you're going to be hard-pressed to convince him to allow you to give Rolikos a potion. Got it. Um... Kill it. Huh? <laughs> it's a kill it. <laughs> oh, um, I'm gonna try to pull a hat, a ba- an item out of my hat, and um, I'm going to an item out of your hat. Yeah, I'm just oh, ignore me. Okay. I'm going to cast uh, an action of minor illusion. Okay. See, when you in... said out of your hat, this is D and D, so there's magic. Fair I'm enough. thinking like, what Fair magic? Enough. <laughs> Fair enough. This hat, this one, this one. Right here okay. Perfect. Like. So I'm going to cast minor, minor illusion to put a voice in his head in abyssal that says... Can you do that? It says that uh, I can use... If you create a sound, uh, if, it can, if you create a sound, its volume can range from a whisper to a scream. It can be your voice, someone else's voice, or a lion's roar, a beating of drums, or any other sound you choose. The sound continues unabated throughout the duration. Not in Or you head. can make... Huh? Well, not sorry. I didn't. Not literally in his head. My bad. Okay. I shouldn't have said that. I just mean so he can hear it. Okay. And he might think it's in his head because okay. he doesn't know where it's going to come from. Um, it's going to be an abyssal, um, in some demonic voice that says, "Uh, Drep Foxel, we're under attack, and we need we need you back." <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Um, shot in the dark. I have no idea if it's going to work. Okay. Uh, we'll find out. Anything else? And I'm going to, I can't break concentration. So, um, yeah, I, it's going to be, it, cause I assume I can't use a bonus action to try to free him or anything like that. Right. Uh, no. Okay. Then, um, bonus action, that is going to be it. Cause my okay. bonus actions are concentration. Lulu's turn, and uh, she's going to try to do the sparkle trumpet again. You're not evil, right, Relico? I am not. Okay. And he (laughs) saves again. Jesus. Okay. 16. All right. Uh, Kairos. Um, can I, am I able to get a, uh, can I, can I poke Rollercoast while he's being grappled? I just got to touch him. Uh, that'll be your action to try and do that. Yeah. Uh, well, my action will be to lay on hands. Okay. So it'll be a contested, uh, Roll, uh, dexterity to try and touch him. <laughs> there's, there's no way. Okay. It, <laughs> no, seeing him getting flailed about in the pit. <laughs> I'm where Kairos knows he's like, there's no chance. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna hit him. <laughs> um, so uh, in that case, um, I'm going to light up Heaven's Fall with a searing smite. Okay. My bonus action at second level because it's my racial trait, and then I'll try to hit him 
three times. Yep. Not that one. Nope. 22? Yep. 23. Yep. And 19. Yep. Okay. So, first one with the fire damage. What school of magic was that sword? The tech magic tells me that, right? Uh, it's not. It's just a normal um, magical. It's like a default got a plus. enchantment. <laughs> got it. Okay. Um, that is 10 points of fire damage, and he's on fire if he can be on fire. Um, and 10 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. For the first attack. And then the second attack <laughs> is 10 points, uh, another 10 points of bludgeoning damage for the second attack. Okay. That is all I've got. Okay. Jerry. So he ran like you can get 20 to feet. Okay. I just run up behind him and hit him in the lobster butt. Ooh, I'm not going to hit there. Uh, okay. It's 15? Nope. 27? Yes. Second. Six. 14 damage. Wow, 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 wow. That was some lucky rolls, sir. You just kill him with one yeah. fucking point. Like, I put that maul up his butt. He's facing you guys because Kairos was just swinging on him. But uh, yeah, you can smash him, and he goes down right before he was about to snap Rolikos in half. <laughs> like, no, you're dead. Yeah. Like, Rolikos. No, he character. wasn't. Really? It yeah, would have been pretty... for Rolikos? Yeah, because I'd already failed getting... one save. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, say it, but I thought you just failed like three times. Not if he gets attacked. Oh, uh, that's oh, so that guy right. was like no. That guy was just a no mercy type of character that was just gonna we're, kill someone. He when promised, he was... We're in hell, Dave. Uh, and, he, and he promised <laughs> to take all the other attacks have been relatively <laughs> mild, in my opinion. And he also <laughs> promised to take when you guys were threatening him to take some of you with him. He did say that. So I'm gonna take it. My idea would have failed miserably. Oh yeah. Damn. Um, I'm going to pull the mall out of his butt. I'm going to immediately run over and um, zap Rolikos with a lay on hands. Just one. And you pull him out of the sharp pincer and he's bleeding profusely from his kitty midsection. And uh, just going to wake him up. Yeah. You're you're barely alive there, Rolikos. Oh, that hasn't happened in like two weeks. And you've got a massive demon dead next to you. Yeah, but you got some great shots in before it did, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I try to roll over and pull my two arrows out of its body. (laughs) I'll get them, buddy. I'll get them. (laughs) I need these. I haven't been collecting them. (laughs) Jarvis, can you uh, take a look into that portal? We need to close that right away before something else like this walks through. Yeah. So yeah, uh, I'm just Arcana gonna get away from Jarvis. the portal. Yep. Oh, Jerry, fuck! I still have disadvantage. Jerry goes over to pick up the guy. Who's uh? Okay. Yeah. No problem. Not even gonna make you roll. Got him on my back. I'm like, let's go, guys. Nineteen with disadvantage. Nice. Uh, you think um, the helm. Uh, needs to be off of there's some ritual that needs to occur and it definitely needs to be off of older's head before you can attempt to close this thing and we learned earlier that it was a like we need some sort of magic to pull it off of his head yeah, you yeah. need a sure, religious yeah. magic some sort ritual. of ritual and then you, we is it a curse Korea. or is it just like is it a curse of some sort well, there's of a, a sort there's a priest um back at the like, cathedral. 
Yeah, and know. she yeah, and that's a your best bet. Um, okay, especially so her being a priest of Torm. This is a helm of Torm. Uh, so that remove curse scroll that I just found would do me probably no good. Is that on your spell list? Nope. You just I just it's that scroll that I just picked up out of the water. But you can't you use me. it unless it's on your spell list. I mean, he could use the scroll, right? If it's a wizard spell. If, his, yeah. his if it's not on the wizard's Oh. He can't use He can't even read it. Got it. Because it says, Dear Jesus. And you can't even read that. So. Got it. I totally forgot I can only do wizard spells. It's yep. stupid. It's... I can read it. <laughs> And we'll leave it there with Rollercoast surely in th- what's so – I was on the edge of my seat because I was like, he's going to die if Jerry doesn't kill him. <laughs> wow. After I, mean, I, 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 only got, I only got one swing to connect. Full on dead. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm weak. That There's no way I, I could have pried him out of that. So yeah, I, was like, oh. I might have been able to and didn't. I'm just really glad, glad you didn't light me on fire. <laughs> That's what I was like. How are you not going to burn roller coaster right now? His resistance uh, to because... fire helps in that situation. <laughs> and uh, it, that helps. And it also, it only burns him if he fails a constitution save, which eh, had a pretty strong hunch that he wasn't going to fail that. Cool. And we'll pick up next week, minus our wizard, but we'll do what needs to be done. Um, make sure you send your character sheet to one of us, Gary. It's accessible to everyone through D and D Beyond, right? Not unless you give the code. You have to share it. Uh, but we'll oh, figure that out after we sign off here. Thanks for watching or listening, everyone. This has been episode sixteen, seventeen. I don't. It's it's up there. Sixteen. Sixteen. Thank 16. you. Uh, <laughs> how many games I have in my notes. Excellent. Excellent. Bingo. And we will be back next week, same time, same place, 7 p.m. Pacific, here on Venture Ventures. You can catch me playing in a game of Star Wars, Fate Accelerated, playing a chiss named Turk Bango next week, next Saturday, this Saturday, uh, at 9 a.m. Pacific, noon Eastern, uh, if you want to watch that. But... That's it, unless anybody else has anything else. No. If anyone happens to like improv, I'm on an improv show at the Moving Arts Theater this Thursday, 9 p.m. Los Angeles. The world famous Moving Arts Theater. Cool. And uh, yeah, be excellent to yourself, be excellent to others. We'll see you next week, everybody. <laughs>